What's up you guys welcome back to another video and today we're gonna to be playing some new world new world recently got a um, Like complete game overall is what they're calling it. Basically new world 2.0 is what they're calling it um, We're gonna jump in and see what it's all about. What's up and get a new character going in the fresh start server they put a fresh start server so what that means is that you can't um, transfer any uh, you know characters from another server it's all new characters here so everyone basically started from the same uh, benchmark but I kind of missed uh, the release of that it was a few months ago so but here we are look at that rat The skip sound is... That's... <laughs> We're not gonna skip though. We're gonna see. We're gonna check it out. The stories you've heard, they don't tell the whole truth. The island is indeed the place of legend. There's power and vast riches as well. But those who've gone before you have simply vanished, never heard from again. I saw the horror, the madness that overcame the crew. It was beyond any evil the world has ever known. How I survived, I do not know. The contents of this box are not of this world. They will guide you to that one, wherever and whatever that may be. Go then, Captain. Charge your course and your fate. I will say a prayer for the souls of your crew. Why does his mask have a beard? Right, I don't know who that is, but it's definitely not us. Oh no, sir. It looked like Kip. Alright. Hehehe. <laughs> We did a male character on the last run, so this time we're going to do a female character. That seems pretty appropriate, not going to lie. That does not seem appropriate. This also does not seem appropriate. Alright, we'll go with that one. Salt and pepper. Um, I think that's it. Features? No, I don't think we need any of those. Scars, tats. No. No. Wait a minute, wait a minute.
There we go, that'll do it. Once again, the ship got GG'd. I will open up a Jolly Rancher. Back on the island. Let's go talk to the captain. He's all fucked up. Your captain needs you. One of those blasted things jabbed me. In a bad way. That demon storm. The voice in my head. These foul creatures. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I remember wanting his helmet, but thinking back, I don't think I want it. I think so. I could have sworn I saw one of the swabbies, but it was one of those... Creatures! Damned priest! Never should have trusted that bastard! All his talk of legends and power, treasures! Nothing but lies! I... I don't know! I lost it when the ship went down! But this voice! She says I need to get it back! You! I order you! Search the beach! If we don't recover the box... No, wait, I will find it. No, please, I can't die here. Not like this. Not like that. Where does it say that, though? <gasps> Wash up on my shore, exhausted and weak, and I welcome you home. Definitely is not running as well as it could be. 
The choice. You forced my hand. Your soul is now mine. Oh, store. Everlasting glory will be ours! Not exactly sure what happened there. No idea, actually. Okay. Old first light. Okay, I don't understand. Okay. Steady there, friend. Dying can be a rather harrowing experience the first time one goes through it. You're actually looking quite healthy, all things considered. <laughs> Luckier than most. Not anymore, but you were very much dead for a few minutes there. You've been resurrected, you see. It's quite a lot to take in, I know. You'll find many strange things on Eternum, and this not dying business is one of them. Okay, we're here. Yes, the pole of the corruption. It's that damn storm. I can't even count the number of ships it's wrecked. And every sailor coming ashore is corrupted. You're one of the few who came through with your soul intact. Instead, not... Yes, the pole of the corruption. It's that damn... Ah, but I forget my manners. What's that? Watch a lace and reese at your service. I watch these shores for shipwrecks and help those like yourself. <laughs> You're undoubtedly quite shaken by all of this. And probably famished, too. Resurrection is taxing on the soul and the body. Do you have foods? Ah. Unfortunately, we don't keep the watchtower very well stocked. Bring your own mead, is the rule. But there are some nice fat boar roaming around nearby. Of course, you're not exactly equipped for hunting, are you? What do we need for to get the boar? Yes, you'll need a skinning knife to start. Unless you prefer your roasted boar with the skin on. 
If you'll gather some flint and wood on your way to join me at the watchtower, you can fashion a crude knife at the campfire. Okay, flint, flint, flint. Get a good amount of flint, because we're going to need it later anyway. Very impressive. One of the nicest crude skinning knives I've seen. You've done this before, haven't you? It's important to know how to provide for yourself here. The wilds of Eternum can be a very... Uh, harsh environment. It's reasonably safe up the road in the town of Corinth, but out here, we are on our own. Is that where you're from? Yes. It has its own share of troubles, but nothing like what we are seeing here. The persistence of this storm is worrisome, to say the least. I may very well need your help, but as I promised, we need to get you fed first. Okay. Uh, yes, you'll find them snuffling around in the bushes nearby. They're ornery, but I think you can handle it. Go and hunt yourself down a fat one, skin it, and cook yourself a little feast at the campfire. Alright, let's... Uh, is there, like, any other weaponry? Perhaps just chilling? Being chilling, per se? I think we're gonna be Warhammer. We'll put it on, whatever. Let's use that. So, if there's a Warhammer like that around here, then wouldn't there be like uh, other things represented? You would think.
perhaps. What's up with his hair? Buddy. What happened to your hair? Oh, okay. Were we supposed to be cooking? We're, we're supposed to be cooking... Alright, what other weapons are we allowed? Doesn't look... okay. That's it. Mm, that smells delicious! And you seem to be feeling better than when you first rejoined the ranks of the living. <sighs> That's convenient. Because I really do need your help to make sure the threat here on the shore is contained. Uh, is that right? We get shipwrecks on these shores now and then. But I've never seen anything like this. The storm, all these ships, and the fact everyone's corrupted except you. Well, we have to do something. Alright, what is what's corrupted? By what? That's the dark side of eternal life, I suppose. You resurrected with your soul intact, but many come back soulless, the lost. Or worse, they return with their souls twisted, possessed by insatiable evil. Those we call the corrupted. Oh, like by demons? Essentially, yes. And the corrupted are relentless, destroying and killing to increase their numbers. Looking at the wreckage of your ship, I suspect that's what's become of the rest of your crew. Okay, wh where's our ship? It's just across the water, and frankly, we need to deal with the corrupted gathering there. I know it's not a pleasant mm. task, but if you can put down some of your former crewmates, it's a start, at least. Uh, all right, okay. Oh, excellent. If the corrupted start converging on you in numbers, I suggest you retreat. Either way, keep that blade handy. The last thing we need is for you to be joining their ranks. Auto run button that I can't remember. And they shall ruthlessly strike down their fellows. Their path to corruption be gone. That was a pretty big hit right there. If I dare say sir myself. We don't need to start putting goofy names. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. That dress? No, it's not a dress. Looks like one from the back, though. Well done. It's grim oh. work, I know. Well done. But we can't let the corrupted get entrenched down here. Unfortunately, the numbers seem to just keep growing. Several shipwrecks along the shore, and more by the hour. The storm wall is a fact of life here. It completely surrounds the island. Wrecking any ships that approach and any that attempt to leave. But this storm, it's unnatural even by Eternum standards. There must be something or someone causing it. Who could possibly do it do that? <laughs> I'm not sure, but all this wreckage at the same time. It seems like it must be coordinated somehow. We generally see a new shipwreck only once a season, and even then, there are usually more survivors. Okay, so should we go find the survivors? They're probably uh, dead. That's likely a lost cause. If they're out there, stuck in the midst of the wreckage, they're probably already corrupted. More importantly, I need to focus on finding the storm's source, and I couldn't possibly ask you to go alone. No, we we'll, we're, we can go, it's fine. Well, I fear you may not fully grasp the danger of such an endeavor. No. But I won't hold you back. No, we-, we... Just keep that weapon at the ready, and take out as many corrupted as you can. If you find survivors, send them here. Come here, boy. Oh. Very bush. Maybe we need to like try to craft like a bunch of uh let's see what else we can craft before we leave. Okay, let's get an axe. Let's get a pick. Sickle. None. Why can't we craft? Oh, we need fibers. Aren't those, like, right here? Or... Uh... Maybe not. Huh.
should get fibers here, actually. Nope. Alright, we got a weapon slot. That's good. is only the beginning. All these sailors join our cause. Soon, it will be all of humanity. Give me them herb, boy. Shots. Oh, I see this one is in there. Eat later, bastards! You won't be getting a piece of money, See, I wasn't like this before. It's different. Maybe it was. Back wasn't. on the sand. You have my tanks. I know a safe spot this way. Come on! Alright, Grace. You still have that hat on, I see. Weren't you shipwrecked? Well, I mean, I guess the ship's right here. What a relief it was seeing someone who was still human. I was beginning to think I was all alone out here. The rest of the world had gone mad. So oh, there's a watchtower over over there. Perfect. I was betting there'd be some kind of town nearby. Thinking I'd go look for it after I'm done out here. But I'm not about to go walking away from a fleet of freshly crashed boats. Not if I have a choice in the matter. This isn't my first shipwreck, you know. One thing I've learned, you have to always think ahead, keep an eye on the horizon. And there's booty to be had here. Countless treasures captain and crew had stashed on board, if you know where to look. I mean, I see some booty to be had, right? No, I'm just kidding. Of course! Not like these rotters care a damn for it. And I'd be needing a new ship, a new crew. That takes coin. In fact, if you want to partner up, I'll spit the loose 70 30. Or what the hell, 60 40 even. What do you say? Then we can go ahead to that watchtower of yours. Or we can just do 50 50. That's the spirit. It's a deal. I need to circle oh, see, back to my own ship right to there. grab that's what, what I can. But there's a wreck over there I haven't searched yet. They know. They Find know. the manifest first. Then look for whatever's listed. I'll meet you over there. Fortune smile on you, mate. It's, it seems so, like, stuttery at times. Steal from one another, like rats fighting over scraps.
Celeste's Chalice. I guess I put it under. I didn't think that boy was going to attack us. There you are! I was starting to worry! More importantly, though, what did you find? Let's see here. Oh, yes. These are definitely worth a coin or two. Soon as we find a town, we'll sell them and split the profit. Unfortunately, I didn't have as much luck as you did. Those damn red eye rotters are swarming all over the wreckage of my ship. I worry it's bad luck leaving behind my own treasures. But I can't get through the bastards. Uh, should we go and... Now there's a good mate. Tough one too, if you're so confident. No complaints, though. Tell you what. If you can get my stuff back, I'll give you a greater share of our profits. 40, 60. Or what the hell, 30, 70. What do you say? That's fine. What are we looking for? Most of our cargo was lost at sea, and I got my captain's log on the way out. What's burning me now is leaving behind my ship's flag and my lucky wheel. Get those, and then maybe we meet at that watchtower. Works for me. I'm sure it does. It's not doing anything. I like how those cross. Right, can we take the shield off? Where's the shield? All right, we don't need the shield. It's a ridiculous sword. Man. 
Welcome back, my friend. Glad to see <laughs> you're still with Welcome us. Welcome back. I was elated to meet another survivor, but I feared we'd lost you in the process. Oh, Grace O'Malley. A real piece of work, isn't she? Can't say I would have wanted to make that trade. While you were away, I think I may have located the source of this endless storm. There's a network of sea caves nearby where the corrupted seem to be gathering. Something nefarious is going on in there. I feel certain of it. Alright, what, what do we do? See, now there's someone willing to step up. I can't do this alone. I thought perhaps our new friend might join as well, but uh, she's not really the joining type, is she? Oh. Uh. We'll find out. I suspect you'll be wasting your breath, but give it a go. Why not, right? Mm, give it a go. I'll go ahead and scout out the entrance to the caves. Whether she comes or not, I'll meet you there. I'm, I'm fine. Grace is not coming, okay? Look, I'm as grateful as can be that you reclaim my flag and all. But don't ask me to go on a fool crusade against those red-eyed demons. I don't need a medal of valor. Just a coin for me, thank you very much. <laughs> so where are you gonna go then? Good old Watcher Lace and Reese says there's a town. I'll head there and sell this loot. I'll set your part aside until you get there. For my part, I'll be saving up for a ship to escape this hellish island. Oh, you didn't hear about the storm wall? Oh, I heard a lot of stuff from Watcher Lace and Reese, but I don't believe even half of it. Besides, Captain Grace O'Malley never met a storm she couldn't navigate. I'll find a way. Except for the one that me, crashed you, you like. on this island. We'll meet you in town. Have it your way, hero. I just hope you don't end up as one of those monsters yourself. Don't worry about me burning you on the loot. You did me a favor and I'm good for it. As long as you survive, that is. I'll be there. <laughs> For the alliance.
Watch your back. Hey, you gave it a try at least. Ugh, that Grace O'Malley's a pirate to the bone. Doesn't mm -hmm. care about anyone but herself. Looking at the corrupted massing here, however, neither her nor anyone else will be safe if this keeps up. The storm is centered right above these caves, no doubt about it. And I suspect some foul magic is afoot in there. The place reeks of charred bones and unbridled brutality. All right, we're going in. I don't know. If we both fall in there, there'll be no one to get word to town. I certainly don't trust that pirate to do so. Wow. I say we head back to town and recruit as many sword arms as we can, and then come back. No, we're gonna go. Damn it! I'd forbid it. But I fear you're right. Their numbers are growing too fast. Go then, but be quick about it. Look for the source of the storm and destroy it. I'll meet you back at the watchtower. Gold speed, my friend. And they shall witness the power manifest. The true future of the human race. I'm gonna go Dex. An ice gauntlet. Let's take it. Yeah, I think we're gonna go Dex. Oh man, goddamn. I see him down there. A weapons chest. With an axe in it. We couldn't have a freaking spear.
Hope you're having fun. Um... that which is mine. You assault my followers, and now you disrupt my plans. This is personal. I wonder who that is. When I saw the storm receding, I knew you had triumphed. What was in there? Some kind of abomination? A corruption rift? Oh, I've heard legends of such things from way back. Yeah, they were doing something really freaky. And you disrupted it. That's a story fit for legend right there, I'd say. That's right. Uh, you have no idea what a relief this is. I didn't want to sound pessimistic, but nothing like this has happened in the 300 years I've been here. What? Those who've been here longer, the ones who haven't been driven mad by all the years, they tell horror stories about the corrupted. It seems that centuries ago, some dark sorcerer nearly corrupted everyone on the island. And that's happening now. Is that what I you're saying? I suspect we'll see more corrupted in the future. But let's hope we can prevent such darkness as the legends speak of. Still, I'll write a report for the town. Tell them the storm's receded. But to remain vigilant. Uh, I hate to ask you to be the bearer of bad tidings, but I should stay here. Just deliver the report to the guard at the gate. Then get yourself a nice cup of mead at the tavern. You deserve it. Hmm. Come closer. It is time you know the whole truth. Come closer? What do you mean? Okay. See this? Just looking at this is making my eyes water. My mouth water, eyes water. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Thank you. Really? Oh, this is the... Huh, okay. This island has always guarded the promise of paradise. Humanity cast out, deemed unworthy of such blessings. But I did not come here seeking paradise. I came oh, for answers. Redemption after a life of weakness and suffering. And I found a truth that disproved everything I had been taught. I tasted the knowledge forbidden to us at creation, and I saw the vision of humanity's true potential. I knew then, I must correct this ancient injustice and restore the power which is rightfully ours. 
The heart of the mountain now beats strong with his purpose. After a century of preparation, our campaign has begun. The island's townships already fall before the might of our armies. The only thing I had not foreseen is you. You, who have stolen the gift meant for me. And now your soul will pay the price. For I will not stop until I have seized back the destiny stolen from us and brought true freedom to the world, both old and new. I don't even know what we took from you. The box? But like, what was in it? I don't... You can have it back, it's fine. You don't need to do all this. Alright, so she's pissed off. We took something. Who knows what it was. He didn't like it. And this guy wants to say something. I'm not listening to him. It is what it is. Or I don't know if he wants to say something or not, but... Oh, he's trying to talk. Is there something you want to say, or...? Sorry, man, I, I can't really hear you. Your mic's, like, really bad or something like that, or really low or something. I'll check the settings quickly, but, um... Maybe it's receive volume? I guess our voice chat is on, so I didn't re I didn't realize that. Okay. Look at how nice it looks out here. So, oh. This lag is like, uh, pretty unsure why. Did you see my court? Huh? The wilds of Eternum have never been safe. But the roads? Uh, never seen anything like this before today. Vicious bulls came out of nowhere, ate all me truffles. Why would they do that? What kind of question is that? How should I know? Do I look like some kind of boar mind reader? Huh? Not me. I'm just a simple traveling herbalist. Tell you this much, however, the beasts have ruined me for the season. Okay, so you want your truffles back? Is that what you, you mean? Want? You'd help old hapless how? <laughs> Why, yes, you're a saint. <laughs> Take my sickle, hunt up some truffles, and bring them to the settlement. Oh, uh, gather any herbs or berries you see for yourself as well. They'll fetch a gold or two at the trading pub. Right, well, we don't need your sickle. We have our own sickle. These boys look like they're bad. Someone's popping off shot. Or maybe they're not popping off. Maybe someone's like. Sounds like someone's chopping a tree. And this game is pretty cool. If you chop tree, like you can hear people chopping trees or like mining or whatever they're doing. And when they like chop a tree, the tree will actually fall. Pretty cool.
For now, we just need to get our truffles. I don't know why we're following this guy. Maybe that's what we hear. I think he has like a boy gauntlet or something like that. He's doing something. It looks like he's, uh, you can, you can definitely tell Lucretia, like, I'm not gonna say anything more than that, actually. Wait, where's Hapless How? How is, oh yeah, yeah. What's up there? What business do you have in Corinth? A report from the Watcher, eh? Okay, I'll take that. So, it was corruption causing that hellish storm. Mirad. Don't we have enough problems? Maybe not. Whatever. Mm, well, according to Reese's report, you're quite the hero. And good for you. Hero or not, we cannot afford another mouth to feed. Corinth has gone from feast to famine. Ask five people, you'll get five theories. Some say we've been cursed. Others blame the local druids. Some are even calling for the town's leader, the Speaker of the Winds, to step down. But he's doing what he can. Uh, what can we do, though? All right, the hero. Well, hate to break it to you, hero. But eternal life on Eternum means eternal trouble. But if you want to help, speak with Cordomesso Agrawal. Uh, who knows? Maybe you two can fix everything, eh? Okay, so people are living forever. Um. Spoken to the captain, have you? He's normally not quite so dour. Although I suppose he was never a particularly charming man. It's just that Windsward has just experienced a bit of bad luck recently. Oh yeah? Well, uh... But all that aside, you're still welcome in Corinth. And really, I shouldn't suggest this famine is a result of bad luck. Our town leader, the Speaker of the Winds is entirely responsible for all this. What did the Speaker do? It can't simply be a coincidence. And I've heard the stories of Medea. She's not someone you cross. <laughs> the question is why the damn Speaker took it upon himself to cancel the tribute without consulting anyone. I mean, I know a Medea or two myself, and she's definitely not one to cross. Absolutely not. You're a guest. I insist you check in at the inn. You came ashore in that terrible storm, I'm sure you need rest. In any case, it's my duty to talk to the man. This is my burden to bear. Okay. Oh, we passed up how. My new friend right here! Oh, the truffles I lost, and then some! I hope it wasn't too hard. Uh, uh, keep that sickle for your troubles. And if you make a habit of harvesting herbs and such, we'll cross paths again. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> 
Alright, how? Oh, that's good. We want that. Welcome to the Sodom Breeze. May a gentle wind always guide you home. You wish to check in? Now, this is a pleasant surprise. Two new customers in one day. All right, let's go find Grace and she, see if she's actually going to uh, give us that the half of the the cake, like she said, wherever she is. Oh, she's <laughs> she was already in. There. Where have you been hiding? I was afraid I'd have to go back to the beach and search for you. Not that I wanted to stay here, mind you. This hamlet's ready for a bloody wake. Well, I do seem to have some problems here. Problems? I've raided tombs more lively than this place. I don't plan on hanging around here long. Not when the winds are shifting the way they are. It's bad business. Hi, right, Grace. Thanks for the... Oh, she actually gave us the I managed to sell that loot we collected. Never let it be said that Grace O'Malley doesn't pay her debts. Here's your share of the coin. I think you should get to spending it. There's a trading post here. Not exactly thriving, but you could at least get yourself some new clothes. I'm telling you this is a friend. You smell like something that washed in with the tide. We did wash in with the tide. Well, there you go. You can always count on me to tell it to you straight. Get yourself onto the trading post. And if you need to stash anything, there's a storage shed as well. I'll be getting the lay of the land. All right. Okay, Grace. They want us to open the trading post. Is it here or here? Okay. This guy's like at work or something, doing like something ridiculous. Where is um, the storage? salvage all this crap. Can't we... Civilization is built on a foundation of lies and greed. A flawed structure that shall crumble beneath my might. How do we put this weapon away? See, doesn't spending coin make you feel more alive? 
Glad one of us got what they needed. I'm gonna have to find some richer places to plunder before I can get myself a boat and get off this damned rock. Real tragedy of Corinth is there's no way a girl can make some quick money around here. That damn town guard treats me like your servant, leaving me messages to give you, and not a single coin for it. What message? He said your heroics on the shore got the attention of this so-called speaker of the winds. Sounds like a right charlatan to me. He's waiting for you in the town hall. Town hall, okay. here first, then the angry earth attacked. What's in the spheres? A weapon? A treasure? The excavation crew should have found out by now. Where have they gone? What are you talking about? Pardon me. I was mostly thinking aloud. Just north of here, there's an ancient tomb with strange spheres around it. We sent a team of antiquarians to investigate, but they have yet to return. Huh. Well, we'll go take a look. If I we go would greatly appreciate that. But be cautious. The ancients wielded powers we don't fully yet understand. My team are rigorous note takers. If you discover any of their journals, please collect them. Best of luck. Okay, fine. Journals. Oh, there's a lot of quests now. This one over here. Let's go see. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. See if we can grab that. This guy has a pumpkin on his face. Everyone needs goods, don't they? Sadly, we have none to spare. And it's not just food. Everyone eats, of course, but folks need timber, stone, and leather as well. So it's like a life skilling quest. Tell that to the annual tribute. That last collection was a kick in the nethers. Our stores have shriveled up like apples in winter. And it's not exactly safe to go collect more, is it? So what do you, what do you really need? Timber got stone and leather. After all, folks need homes, clothes, and shoes. We have a little food left, but could always use more. Honestly, That's fine. anything That's we could bring back would help. That's fine. Except dung. You don't want dung. Okay. Understood. What is this? Maybe it's something with this has to do with this fair. Okay. Okay. Not sure where we spin that, but we will find out. So, here's the one watcher he lavished such high praise on. A real charge in and hit him where it counts kind of fighter. We need more newcomers like you in Windsworth. Everyone around here has gone so damn soft. I suppose you've heard about the famine that's beset our lands. A crisis that demands action, not finger pointing. Some people are claiming this was the work of the sorceress Medea. But that's a load of hogwash. Yay, so what do you think about the tribute? Of course not. That damn sorceress doesn't deserve our hard-earned goods. But that was a misunderstanding. We, we sent the damn tribute. No, I think this curse was brought on by the druids. They were the first to transform into soulless lost. 
I, can you imagine such a tragedy? The very people we trusted to care for our crops became monsters and started this damn plague. Oh, entire farms and villages are falling lost. Half of Windsward at this point. Oh, that's the spirit. We need fighters, not whiners and naysayers. Just now, Quartermaster Agrawal's headed to the farms to salvage what he can. But he's no warrior. Go and see if you can help. Okay. Rawhide, Greenwood, a stone. the last time you truly stood in wonder of the world. There is glory in the morning dew. The sun's kiss on our cheeks is more warm and gentle than any lover's lips. Oh, uh, why, why are you so happy? More people around here would be if they glimpsed the glory of wordwood trees. Their beauty is transcendent. If you find someone who is down, take them a wordwood sapling. They contain the sparkle of starlight in their branches. They mirror the viewer's intent. If you pause and appreciate them with true wonder, they'll shimmer the lights of heaven back at you. They will hold your intent and reflect it in response so others may feel that same awe in kind. I don't know. I don't even know if we can do that for us. We might not be the right level for that. With all this hemp. Take some. See some more over here. Okay, uh, boulders. Here's a boulder. Listen to that sound. down there looks like it might be about fishing because it's on a pier I say pier hello I'm master Fisher shields 
Ah. Ahoy there. Before you get to the adventure and the glory, you'll need to learn how to fill your belly with the bounty of the sea. This is a lake. First, you'll need some bait. Some of the most readily available bait are wood lice, creepy crawly creatures that live in bushes. The rest you can get through various other means. Hmm, wood lice draw in larger fish. And believe you me, size matters. Beside that, though, there's still some more basics I want to impart to you, Skipper. Level 10, you got the fishing How goes rod. your fishing? Ah, let's get it on the action now. Fishing involves three basic steps. Casting, hooking, and reeling the sucker in. It may take some getting used to, but once you get into the pattern, you can go for hours non-stop. If you can catch three fish, Take them and go show Ruby and Everfall what old shields taught you. Alrighty. Yeah, let's say F3. Put some whatever bait. I don't see a button for for casting. I don't know if this is glitched out or... Okay, I will just come back to that later because it's not working. The scene here is unthinkable. A month ago, the most flourishing fields in all Eternum. Now this. The Druids were such gentle people. And now they're these lost swarmancers destroying the land. Is that right? I hope so, because we need it. We must get the windmills going again and then recover any sacks of grain that remain untainted. But the lost swarmancers and withered are everywhere. We can do it, it's oh, fine. You're a brave soul, my friend. I'd protest if the need weren't so dire. Look for any farmers who need rescuing and bring back any sacks of grain you find. And for your own sake. Be careful. You mean for your sake.
coat of the druid. Alright, I mean, we look pretty badass. Sword four.
All right, here we go with the food. Well, it's not as much as I'd hoped, but it's certainly better than nothing. This grain will keep us fed for a few more days at least. With the windmills turning again, at least there is hope for the future. Did you see anyone out there who hasn't become lost? Nope. Well, the adventures. Druids, the farmers, surely someone remains. Nope. No one will fled, but it's strange that I've heard no first-hand accounts of how it happened. Okay, I mean, didn't see any of that, though. Oh, your confidence seems matched by your skill, so I welcome the help. Indeed, if you rescue anyone you can find, we might be able to get some answers. Oh, good thinking. This farm produced a bountiful crop of fruits and vegetables as well. The fields are cursed now, but there are crates of food that have already been harvested. Go on then, I'll wait here. Put this weapon away. Uh. Look in the uh, settings, devices. X. There we go. A lot better than running around and cringe all the time with a freaking great sword in hand. Nothing I've learned in all my studies has prepared me for this. I've heard of druids falling ill or even becoming lost, but some truly foul magic is at work here. Oh, about time someone came to help! Meet me at the edge of the farm! We should talk! Why are you that loud? And there's like an undead right there. Shh! They'll hear you! And believe me, we don't want that. <sighs> Thank you. My family, my farm. You're the only one left. You better get out of here before there's no one left. Oh, I still need mining stone.
All right, let's see what this person has to say and tell them to just What leave. are you doing here? How did you get past the wizard? They're dead. Oh, bless you, my friend. I felt my hope fading away. I almost became withered. You're walking mighty slow. Okay. Disappeared. Never mind. That seems like the magic of me. How did the farms deteriorate so quickly? It just doesn't make sense. Hmm. Transforming druids into swarm answers. That's not human magic. That seems like the magic of the island itself. So why weren't you affected? I've only just returned from completing my druidic studies at another warren in the north. Seeing what's happened to everyone, I can't imagine what happened here. Some kind of curse. Could it be the sorceress Medea? I never heard of anyone who could snap their fingers and turn people lost. If such magic exists, I'd like to know more about it myself. <laughs> no, this is something else. Something related to the land itself. Oh, does he now? Is it that old blowhard Francis Turner? I'll be having a word with Mr. Turner then. <sighs> Whatever you're doing to help is most appreciated. I suggest you carry on. I'll seek you out later. Alright, where's Michael? After what I've seen, I fear eternal life may become eternal torment. It's a sight that will haunt me all my days. Watching my sweet Doris consumed by beetles and then rise up again as a withered. Well, that's, that's pretty best. So how, how did it start? I was by the mill, watching as the druids spread their verdant blessings. Then suddenly, the blessings turned putrid and began emitting green smoke. The druid nearest me just fell over and transformed. Maybe it was the druids then. I just can't believe that. They've always been kind and generous. They often spoke of a verdant spirit who watched over Windsward. It was a lovely story. Okay. That! My friend was most impressive. These vegetables may make all the difference. I spoke to the farmers you rescued. They said you also rescued a druid? What did she say? She just returned from up north. Hmm, she must be initiate. They train up north. Perhaps she can help us make sense of all this. I don't think the speaker's on the right track. Not at all. <laughs> The speaker insists he sent Medea's tribute, which means it would have been carted off by the Iron Rose mercenaries. They're supposed to be protecting these farms as well, but I haven't seen hide nor hair of them. Huh, the Iron Rose mercenaries. Yes, they were hired by Medea herself to protect and transport the tribute, but the town had engaged them for security as well. I haven't seen a single member of the Iron Rose Company since this whole thing started. Where can we find if if he hasn't seen them, then how how are we gonna ask them where can we find them? The Iron Keep lies to the northwest. Okay, the keep. If northwest. you can go and find out about the tribute, it may help us solve this dilemma. I should get these goods back to town where they're desperately needed. Good luck.
Let's go check the garrison. The Gary. <gasps> Gary! Stand. My comrades were hardened soldiers. Tough bastards, one and all. We've all died a time or two. What soldier hasn't on this island? How could every one of them have become lost? We heard the farmer's cries and rushed to help. But the beetles were on us the moment we emerged from the garrison. We, we, we fought bravely. But when my comrades began to fall, I realized they were returning as lost. Yeah. It makes no sense. The Iron Rose have steel spines and iron resolve. We don't despair. Ultimately, I also fell beneath the blade of one of my former comrades. I was too shocked to fight back. Well, you came back. Yes, but I can't be the only one. I fought alongside these soldiers against impossible odds. And now they become lost fighting some damn bugs? Sergeant Cawthorn, tough as Orichalcum. He must be here somewhere. Okay, we'll, we'll find her. Would you do that? I can't bear to face my former comrades. Not again. Find Cawthorn. Then meet me at the Iron Keep to the west. I must report this to Commander Merrill. Though I dread doing so. Don't forget to set yourself a campsite. If you get in over your head, it's a safe place to go back to. My sword arm may not be with you, but my hopes are. Of course. As long as, you know. If it's free, like your spirit or whatever you said, your hopes and whatever, why not, you know? But your sword arm, nah. That costs, you know. Alright, how do we set this camp? Do we really need to set a camp here? How do we set this camp? Commander Merrill dives under the Minotaur's blade, dodges left, weaves right, 
and plunges his sword into the heart of the beast. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice someone was near. I was uh, training. Okay, for what? To join the Iron Rose Company. Stalwart bastions of valor they are. I don't have a copy of the Creed. You look like a hardy adventurer. Could you swing by their camp and borrow a copy for me? Uh, we will see. Thank okay. you. I've seen it posted near the encampment. You want this? Maybe multiple pages. I know I'll have to meditate and learn discipline, but that's difficult without instruction. Hey, no active camp. Don't we have a camp? Isn't this our camp? We just okay. Let's right, so take a look at the little garrison. Oh. This one's throwing things at us. Where the hell did you come from? Did you see? The entire garrison has turned lost. <sighs> My brave comrades are all soulless husks. I thought I was surely next. Yes, you're right. I can't just stand here awaiting death. My thanks to you, stranger. <sighs> Brace yourself, Gideon. You can do this. We gotta watch out for those things. We don't want to fight one of those right now.
Even though we got these guys getting in our way, we still got it done. Get the supply stockpile. Seems he got turned. That's unfortunate for him. Travel point. Uh, back slot. You're back. I had heard that many of them became lost. I was worried about you. We found your boat. Thank you so much. I'll study this and memorize it. Someone has to carry on their legacy. I'll make myself worry of the name. With study and dedication, one day I'll be worthy. The creed says valor is a beacon to those who've lost hope. Let your blade shine a light in the dark. Words to live by. I agree. Problem is, I don't have a sword. And Iron Rose soldiers ought to have an Iron Rose blade. They are very specific weapons. Can't be crafted by just any old smith. We could, we'll, we'll take That'd a look. That'd be marvelous. I've hit enough sticks against tree trunks. I swear, the forest is starting to glare at me. All right. What a relief to see you again. I'm afraid that the same curse that befell the garrison has struck the Iron Keep as well. It's swarming with my lost brethren. Yeah. <laughs> what news from the garrison? What is this? Sergeant Cotherin's armband. Oh no. The fall of Cotherin the Red. All the more tragic because he had been assigned to escort the tribute to Medea. She didn't take the tribute. No. We received a missive informing us that Guard Captain DuPont had already taken Medea's tribute. Hmm. It was highly irregular. Of he course, if Cotherin had gone, he might still have his soul. Okay, what if she didn't get it then? Are you suggesting the curse is Medea's doing? Dear God, I hope not. Commander Merrill stayed in close communication with the sorceress. If she failed to receive tribute, the commander would have received a very prompt letter. 
Okay. I cannot raise arms against my fallen comrades. You must fight your way into the Iron Keep alone. I must see the speaker. Find what you can. Then use the spirit shrine to meet me in Corinth. Valor is a beacon, friend. In chaos... ...is a ladder. Alright. Well, I think we're gonna end that one here, you guys. And in the next one, we're gonna go storm this keep and... ...check out the Rose Knights and stuff like that. So I hope you guys will join for the next one. Um... I... What is that? It's very loud. But either way, we will definitely see you guys in the next one. And as usual, take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and create your night out.